welcome Scorpio Rose Burnett here mind body soul balance this is your mid-month tarot forecast for March 2022 it is a general reading so always trust yourself what resonates sleep what does not big welcome to those that are new to my channel if you enjoy my readings make sure to hit that like button the subscribe button so my videos come through to you in your feed you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter I'll put my handle up here I do a lot of daily stuff over there so we're diving straight in gonna pull you a central energy from the uh, heart and soul oracle. Let's see what you need to know, Scorpio. Oh wow, there's a lot of color and kind of freedom in this one. Yeah, self-expression. Well, it says something will be revealed to you in a dream or through someone you trust. The information sheds light on something that has remained hidden from you for some time. Suddenly, the missing piece of the puzzle appears. And you're able to see the bigger picture. So a bit of an aha moment coming to you. Um, information that you didn't have before going to be revealed to you. All right, let's put some guidance from the Angel Wisdom Tarot. And let's see what you need to know. Oh, you're going through this massive transformation right now. For some of you, it's a significant life event. Uh, sometimes we can have an unwanted, you know, undesired event that happens in our life that puts us, changes things, you know, really um, shakes things up in our life. And it's always when that happens, um, it's about creating personal growth and more opening you up to more opportunities in your life. Um, mm hmm You've also got the two of air, which is a possible stalemate going on between you and someone else, neither of you willing to compromise or budge. Uh, it can be procrastinating over a decision you need to make, holding yourself a little stuck. Whenever we do that, right, we just send ourselves a little batshit crazy, dare I say. So <laughs> you're better off to make a decision, move yourself forward. <laughs> You've also got the one of air, which is you've got these beautiful inspired ideas and spirits saying they just might need some more refinement. You may need to work, wait for perfect timing. Could be maybe possibly a few little obstacles in your path right now in terms of your ideas. You've also got the night of earth, which is planning and strategizing your next steps. You've got uh, some fields behind him that have been ploughed. He's got a horse by his side ready for those fields to be planted. So Spirit's saying, whatever you do, don't rush into it. Take that time to do the planning, the strategizing you need to do to figure out your next steps, particularly any business goals, ideas, things you want to work on, create. Well, that flew out. Oh, you got the star card, which is so beautiful. Uh, renewed sense of hope, optimism, having faith in the future that your plans are going to work out perfectly. Uh, your dreams coming true. I've got to say to you, Scorpio, it's not going to be a smooth ride. Yeah, but Spirit's saying it will happen. We always co-create that. And uh, you've got the king of earth. He's sitting on his throne with his coin in his lap. So a time of financial success, abundance, uh, things starting to pay off for you. Having the Midas touch, everything working out beautifully, even if it doesn't feel like it. And if you're going through major transformation, it's sitting directly under that, opening you up to your abundance. And you've got the Nine of uh, Fire, which is she's protecting herself, yeah? So standing up for what you believe in, uh, protecting what you've created, not giving up. And you've also got the ego, which is, uh, you know, Archangel Michael's cutting through the chains around her wrist. So the ego is always our self where, you know, it's our sense of confidence, can be self-doubt, holding ourselves stuck, negative self-talk going on. We've got a feeling of being stuck or entrapped, right? You can release yourself at any time. Spirit's saying it's what you're saying to yourself. It's often about looking at things from a different perspective. Oh, this is beautiful. You've got the sun coming out. So beautiful. There's a horse in the background with a victory flag. 
a time of great joy, success, um, some big aha moments that are going to open you up to your success. Your plan's working out perfectly, but it's sitting directly under the night of Earth, which is doing that planning, that strategizing, yeah? You got two here. Oh, this is beautiful. You got the lovers, which is embracing true love. So beautiful. You may be in a gorgeous partnership. Uh, you may have a new love coming into your life. Uh, it can also represent in this oracle deck or tarot deck is recovering from illness, yeah, coming back into a place of good health. You've also got the emperor. So again, this message to be very disciplined and organized. It's going to help you with your success. He's holding the world in one hand, which can be your vision. A sword and the other cutting through anything that no longer serves you. Watch out for, for um, procrastination, distracting yourself and not being focused, yeah? So um, taking on a leadership role in your life. All right, let's put you some guidance from the Muse Tarot. Loved how this is resonating with you. Now you've got the Ace of Materials. I love this. It's you've got these little pebbles in this circle around her, yeah, which is your inspired ideas. Spirit's saying whatever you kick off right now is going to bring an amazing amount of abundance and prosperity into your life. And you've got the Hermit. So taking that time out to seek your answers within, you do your spiritual practices, things that get you into your high states of consciousness, listening to your messages from spirit. You got two here. Oh, darling, so gorgeous. You got the nine of materials, which represents self-made success. She's celebrating her success. It's all your hard work paying off, yeah? And you've also got the six of materials, which is whatever effort you put out is going to come back to you in kind in terms of financial rewards, that beautiful give and take. And uh, you've got the six of inspiration, which again very much looks like the star sitting directly under that, yeah? She's got a star sitting on top of her head. Um, beautiful sense of accomplishment, achievement, being recognised for your, for your efforts um it can be being in the public spotlight public recognition all right let's put you some guidance from the nature's whispers oracle it's a time of expansion again you've got the world there representing the world there's actually a pair of hands right at the forefront of this so a couple holding hands yeah um expanding your vision it can certainly represent a relationship in personal growth it can represent travel and a need for you to pause and take some time out to regroup to just bring your, your energy into balance And you've got culmination of vision all over your reading, right? It is beautiful butterflies. Everything coming together for you that you've been working on. It's been a bit of a hard slog for you, though, Scorpio, I've got to say. All right, let's put you some messages from your angels. Oh, you've got sacred space. We, your guardian angels, surround you with our emerald, gold, and rose pink light. Surrender your concerns and worries and enter this sacred space of love and healing. So let go of the worry, the stress, the anxiety, come into a place of inner peace. And faith, do not lose faith. The storm clouds will soon clear and the sun will shine once more. You pulled the sun here and the star card. Mm -hmm. And transformation, you pulled it again. Wow, through the great love that holds you in its embrace, you are moment by moment transforming to an ever greater light, ever greater oneness, ever greater wisdom. So much growth going on. All right, let's pull you crowning energy from the beautiful Divine Circus Oracle. Now make sure to hang around to the end. I've got a special message coming up. What is it Scorpio needs to know at this time? Oh, wow. Wait till you see it. I'm going to bring it really close. 
you've pulled death shall not take him i've got to say it has the most amazing message mm -hmm. particularly those of you going through a bit of a challenge it says scorpio you're going to witness the impossible made possible whatever you think is lost is not whatever you think cannot be shall be the universe is going to intervene on what seems to be over shall in a new way live again. Sometimes just when you think it's all over, the 11th hour comes. You can practically hear the opening chords of your swan song. And when you've finally given up, somehow, suddenly, right before your eyes, everything changes. Just like that. You were free falling and then suddenly you're soaring. Fate steps in, destinies are altered and life demonstrates its creative restorative power even if all seems lost. This oracle of death shall not take him as a sign. No matter how defeated you feel, no matter how many dead ends you've encountered, how many setbacks, how many failures, no matter how impossible success may seem, the universe is going to step in and write things in your favor. You will succeed. Even though through apparently impossible odds, the heroic spirit within you is going to get its way. So if you really must, doubt just for one moment longer. Then replace doubt with trust and participate in the divine defiance of life refusing to be crushed. The universe wants to dazzle you with an unexpected triumph. Why not just relax and bear witness to its impressive display of life-giving power with reverence and delight? Uh, there's an affirmation here that says the stone is warmed by the blood of life the universe dazzles me with its life-giving blessings and all I need love want and desire comes to life in me and my world oh so apt for your reading my love so beautiful mm -hmm. and before I go I've got a very special message I know we've got a lot of conflict going on in the world with what's happening between Russia and Ukraine at the moment and I know for me personally I've been trying to figure out a way and how I can help out and contribute which I'm in Australia right so a long way away from that conflict but we're all impacted by it yeah and uh, so if you want to help the people of Ukraine um, particularly the women the children the men there uh, I've me personally I've been doing um, NFT artwork it's something I do on the side and I'm going to donate the proceeds of one specific piece of artwork I've created for this um, and it's a futuristic piece that symbolizes peace in humanity and uh, it's available on OpenSea if you want to bid on it I will put the link on here I'll put a pic on here uh, it, I also um, the proceeds will be donated to the uh, Care Australia Fund for the Ukraine humanitarian crisis appeal yeah so I'll be doing that if you want to donate directly to that I will put a link on here uh, if that's something you you want to do and to help out it's really important that we stand together in solidarity yeah and don't forget if you really enjoyed my uh, reading today hit the like button hit the subscribe button love to your feedback your comments down below follow me on Instagram and Twitter I'll put my handle up here take it easy my loves for now much love much light Namaste.